So hey y'all, so this video is basically going to be me behind the scenes getting ready to take my pictures for an Amazon review for a company that sent me this free hair. So here it is. I was actually recording the whole video y'all and it wasn't recorded. So that's why I'm kind of already like half made up. <laughs> so excuse that part. <laughs> oh my God, like I did all that talking y'all. And I wasn't even recording. So basically a company sent me some hair and in return they want me to do a review. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to be giving my thoughts and how I do it as a beginner. Because y'all know I'm new to this. Your girl's been getting the hair. <laughs> no, I'm excited. But yeah, so the first thing I want to do for the company is basically make sure I get good pictures. So that's why I'm doing like a whole makeup look. I'm going to put on my lashes. And, you know, because I want to be cute in the pictures. I mean, I, I feel like if it was my company, I would want them to go all out and get cute for the review. I mean, you don't have to do all that, but, you know, it's fun to me, actually. I didn't just want to put on this wig and then take pictures and that'd be it. Like, I want to be cute. <laughs> and plus, you know, your girl is learning anyway, so this is practice for me. The company sends the hair and basically... Sorry, y'all. Bear with me. Y'all know I can't. I cannot multitask. So basically, the company, and I probably should have should do my makeup before I put on this wig, but I don't want to be looking crazy in this video. So basically, the company sent me this wig, and they want me to do a rating on Amazon for them. In return, I get free hair. That's free hair. So this wig right here was only like $18.99. They sent the money to my PayPal account and then I went on Amazon and purchased the hair. Y'all, it's like late. I'm up because I work a nine to five. So usually I don't have free time until the weekend because I'm off on weekends. So I'm up late at night actually getting ready so that I can have these pictures because I told the company that I would do my review by tomorrow. So usually the companies are very, very nice. Well, the, the company that I'm working with right now is very, very nice and very understanding. So, basically, I got this hair, I want to say, last week. And I'm going to put the date up here when I got this hair. I got this hair, like, last week. I like to do my review the next week. So, especially if the company want pictures, I'd be like, if you want pictures, then I could give it to you this day. And usually that's a week after I get the hair. But if they don't mind, if they don't need pictures, then I can do that review maybe like in two days or so. I don't like doing a review in two days because I actually want to give my honest review. Because you got to think, it's really people who really pay attention to the Amazon review. So I want to give like a good, decent review. I don't want to just be out here giving reviews and I really didn't even test the hair. So... I personally tell a company like, look, I need time to actually do my hair and get these photos and stuff for you. So if you could get me until this date. So, and I, I try not to wait too long. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm new to this. I'm putting on my uh, concealer. And I think I should have a video out of how I do my makeup out by now. So you could just go check that video out if you want to know what I'm using. <laughs> but... So, yeah, I personally want to do the review in a decent time because I ain't going to lie, y'all. For somebody that's new to this, I actually am a little bit overwhelmed, <laughs> especially because I work. Y'all, I have so much hair in my living room. It's crazy. I forgot where she told me to put this. I ain't going to put it over there. I got so much hair, over, hair in my living room. It's a little overwhelming, but... I can't complain because that's what I asked for. Like, I remember the days when I was like, oh, I can't wait to a company reach out to me and give me some free hair. I can't wait. And now it's here. I'm enjoying it. But, yeah, you got to definitely get you a schedule going. And right now, I don't have a schedule. I'm just winging it, which is crazy. But, and y'all, I'm going all out of order on this makeup. So, listen here. 
okay as long as the face get done I had different companies want different things. So I know one company, they wanted a five-star rating and I had another company, they just said, give a rating. So if a company say, just give a rating, then I love that because you can really just give your um, honest opinion. Well, I give my honest opinion anyway, but let me see how can I word this. So if a company say, I'm gonna send you some free hair for in return, you have to give me a five-star rating. Meaning you have to give them a five star rating. You can't give four, you can't give three. So what I personally do, which I haven't had to do yet because every item that I got, I felt I was in love with the hair. It wasn't bad. But if there is something that I don't like about the hair, I will mention that when I'm doing the review, just because like I said, it's people that's actually looking at these reviews and really want an honest review from people. For instance, like for this wig, this wig right here, I like the wig and I'm going to give it five stars. And for the price is definitely five stars because as y'all can see, the wig is cute. Like the wig is wigging, like it's wigging. But I will say I did notice like it, with this wig, the bang is kind of thin as you can see, which is no biggie for $18.99. You can't beat that but and you still can kind of work with it like so i can i was thinking about doing like a swoop bang is swoop bang still in y'all <laughs> like hold on wait a minute you know you gotta play with these wigs baby y'all i'm all over the place on this video hey i'm sorry i'm new to this all right if y'all hear my kids in the background oh my god you know so because the bang is kind of like then I was saying like a swoop bang and a swoop bang is cute but it may be little things that you can say so that you can still give your honest opinion choosing the correct wording so basically I won't just be like oh my god this um bang was so thin I could say something like even though this bang was a little thin I was able to do like a swoop bang and I was still able to make it work like still give it like a good review but honest so that's kind of like how I'm going to be doing things. I can't speak for any other influencers if they just give them five stars just because that's what they ask for. If I do find something that I don't like with the product that I got, I'm, I'll still rate it five stars because I already agreed. Sorry, because I already agreed to rate it five stars. But when I'm actually, you know, doing that review... I can sneak in my little things I don't like about the wig or the product or whatever. So that's kind of how I'm going to do things. And yeah, so I'm cool with that because at the end of the day, I don't want to be on there selling stuff that I don't like. You know, I want to be honest and fair about it. So I want to please the company and please the people that's looking at the reviews. With that being said, let me go ahead and put this powder on. And like I said, I might not have all the answers for y'all because like I said this is like my second review that I'm doing but even just from the first review I learned a lot I learned like how I'm going to go about things because I'm all about being fair okay I probably shouldn't put this um I, this on yet but it, it don't matter if you're new here I'm still learning I'm still learning things over here okay I'm trying to remember all the makeup steps <laughs> yeah but yeah, the swoop bang is given though. This hair is definitely given. Like, so this will be a five star. So I really, really love when I can give a five star and don't have like really no complaints. Like this hair, it don't shed. It's synthetic, but for this to be a synthet synthetic wig, it's definitely not shedding. So I do like that about it. What else I gotta do? Oh, so. If I'm missing some steps in this makeup, don't come for me. <laughs> $18.99, you can't beat this. It's giving Miami. All right, what was I doing? Stay on track, Tierra. Stay on track. We're going to do a little contour. Remember, I told y'all that our kids' bedroom was like in between the bathroom, so... <laughs> hard to shoot a video when your kids is just like so dang loud i'm gonna put a little bit more i just wanted to show a little bit more and usually 
you would do your makeup before you put the wig on but i didn't want to be on here looking crazy so i just went on ahead and had the makeup on when i started the, i mean had the wig on when i started the video like i said y'all i'm new to this but if y'all have any questions or anything leave them down in the comment i'm gonna try my best to answer them then oh so i can talk about let's talk about like how the whole process happened my keys are so loud all right y'all so i'm gonna try to multitask while i put on these lashes <laughs> these some lashes that i have left over that i'm gonna use. so we was getting into like how it all happened so the company reached out to me through my email because I made sure that I put my email in the description of all my YouTube videos. And I didn't just do that at first. I was wondering like why I wasn't getting any companies contacting me. I thought maybe it was because I'm a small channel. I didn't have a large following. That's that I'm banging this to get some blue out. I thought it was because I didn't have a large following. So when this company reached out to me by email, the very first company, I was so happy. So. They basically reached out to me asking what they say something like i'm promoting a new product on amazon no they said we got this new hair that we're trying to get reviews for on amazon something like that i don't know that like the exact verbiage because i'm not looking at my phone and my email but would you like to receive this hair in return give a five star ratings I don't know where this company found me from. I'm just basically guessing. I'm assuming it was through YouTube or TikTok, maybe, or Instagram. Who knows? One of these social media platforms. But if I had to guess, I would say YouTube. And I was so happy. So, of course, I responded and said, yes, I'll do it. And that was that. They sent the money. Too much, well, no, before they sent the money, I had to go on Amazon and basically put the item in my cart and like give them a screenshot of like how much it's going to cost. And then after I sent them that, they sent the money to my PayPal account. So I'm trying to multitask, y'all. I'm bad at multitasking. They sent the money to my PayPal account. So when I got the money, in my PayPal account, y'all, I haven't used PayPal in I don't know how long. So I actually had to go in there, which I already had a PayPal, but it's just been years since I used it. So I had to figure all that out. And if you want more of a detailed video, which I already planned on more of a detailed video, of like the whole run through and showing receipts of like what happened between me and the company. But this is just me just giving y'all a quick little run through while I get ready and take these pictures for this company. But we went back and forth. I sent the um, the screenshot of how much it's gonna cost. And the next thing I knew, she emailed me back saying the funds was available on my PayPal. And I, and I got an email from PayPal saying that funds was in my account. So I was like, wow, it really is happening. Like it's happening. Like that's how I felt at that moment. And then after that, I waited because I still was in denial. I'm like, is this here really coming? Is this crazy? Even though I had already went on PayPal, I mean, even though I had already went on Amazon and got the hair, I still was just like, I'm not going to believe it until the hair is in my hands. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to believe it until the hair is in my hands. Like, don't play with me. <laughs> But so I got y'all know Amazon delivered quick. I got the hair in like two days. I was so excited. <laughs> so once I got the hair, the company was like, okay, let me know once you receive the hair and send them the confirmation number that I had ordered the hair too. So I sent them the confirmation that I ordered the hair and I let them know that I received the hair. And then she basically was like, okay, let me know once you do the review on Amazon. So, you know, we kind of went back and forth a little bit. Like I said, I'll do another whole video with more details, like what we actually talked about, if y'all are interested. But yeah, that's what happened there. So when I got the hair, I did, I braided my goddaughter hair. And y'all know that video is up with me, braiding my goddaughter hair. I posted the review on Amazon. And then I let them know I posted the review and that was that.
and it was done. So it wasn't hard at all. It's just the fact of waiting for a company to reach out. Now, I know I have heard other influencers say that they actually reach out to people. Me, I don't plan on doing that. I'm just going to wait for a company to reach out to me. Like, I don't have a time. I, I won't say I would never reach out to a company, but as of right now, I'll be having other companies reach out to me and I have to decline some of them because it, it don't have anything to do with, like, my niche i guess you can call it on youtube like i had a company reach out to me asking for um me to do a review on a uh, android cell phone case <laughs> and i'm like oh no thank you i said it very politely i said no no thank you you know i said this item is not um compatible with me but um if you have any other items, please feel free to reach back out. Just leaving that door open for them to still reach out to you because you never know if there's another product that they may have that they want you to review. So I always leave that door open. And I only had two different companies reach out. Well, three different companies reach out to me. Two was hair and one was this recorder that I got. And, um, y'all. So, this one company, I guess they really love the reviews that I did. I haven't even did the other review yet for the other company. But the one company that I did the review for, I guess they really loved my review. And they reached back out to me. So, they've just been sending me so much hair. I have so much hair in my living room just waiting for me to do different styles. And another thing that we can talk about is like... The company so for me from my little experience that i do have the companies usually they send you screenshots of the hair that they try that they want you to do a review on usually um, they have a limit on like what you can get so they'll be like well we, you have to get the 10 inch or they might say that you you can get the 12 inch so they basically determine like what inch you get i haven't tried to like get a different inch from a company when they tell me that this is what I can get. I never try to be like, oh, is it possible I could get this one? But they do allow you to like pick your color and all of that. But as far as the inches so far, I wasn't able to like tell them what inch hair I want. They already know like what inch they're giving you. So that's just my experience. So again, y'all, um, I hope I covered everything. Don't forget to leave any questions that y'all may have. Again, like I said, I'm just now getting into this. And the more I work with these companies, the more answers I will have. But I think I could answer some questions. Like, because, like I said, I've been getting this getting this free hair lately. Okay, y'all. We're going to have to come back. I'm going to put on these lashes and we're going to come back because I cannot want to that. All right, y'all, so I got the lashes on. They came out cute. So now that we got that out the way, yeah, y'all, I'm feeling the half bang. I really am. This is a nice little wig. <laughs> I can get used to this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some lipstick. I'm not like gonna outline my lips and all that because it's downstairs and I'm not going down there. <laughs> so this is good enough. So now comes the fun part. I would say like learning like basic makeup and eyelashes just so you can get cute pictures. It's like something that you want to learn how to do on your own if you don't already know how to do it. Because I taught myself actually and I'm glad I actually taught myself for situations like this where I need to take pictures. <laughs> yeah, because to be honest, like taking a picture, I'm just flinging this hair because... <laughs> Taking a picture with makeup on just enhanced your beauty. To me, I feel like the pictures just stand out a little bit more. But it's not something that you have to learn how to do. I, I'm just saying I prefer to know how to do it. So, with that being said, the hair is done. The makeup is done. Now it's time for pictures. So, if you don't have one of these, get you one. Get you one. I'm feeling myself. Get you one. Get you All right. So, if I clean this hair one more time. I think I'm going to do the side bang look for the picture and like the full bang look for the picture. So I'm probably going to do both. If you don't have any one of these, and I'm going to link it in the description, get you one. You can take your own pictures. So 
this is a little device and you can connect it to your phone so you can kind of hold it in your hand and when you take the picture you can hide it and just click it and it'll take the pictures for you so you don't need nobody to take your picture for you okay okay get you one get you a few because i always lose them <laughs> okay so y'all don't mind me i'm getting used to the little makeup look i'm like all right so let's take these pictures I took a lot of selfie pictures and pictures using the clicker and then I just chose the best pictures to post for the Amazon review. Okay y'all, so I just took the pictures, they came out cute. So a little update, I actually love my pictures on portrait mode. They were so pretty. And also another thing, like when taking pictures for um, the Amazon review, I just discovered just now <laughs> because the clicky thing when I actually took the pictures, it wasn't given up close, cute, personal. It was given distance. I don't know. Maybe I just needed to put it on portrait because I didn't have it on portrait. I don't know. But I prefer doing a selfie because I was able to get those angles. And, you know, so that was just my preference. Just taking a selfie. And like I said, the pictures don't have to be perfect. The companies are not really picky. Well, the company that I'm dealing with specifically is not that picky. So, yeah, so y'all, now all I have to do is go through the photos, pick out the photos, go on Amazon, do my review, leave a five star, and that's it, and I'll be done. I'm going to send the picture, the review, actually, I'm going to screenshot it and send it to the company, and then, yeah, and if they like my work, they'll just keep reaching back out, and then we're just going to keep continuing to do this over and over and over again. <laughs> so, um, overall, y'all, don't forget... So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Is there anything else I wanted to talk to y'all before I end this video? Well, if I did miss anything, we'll, uh, we'll get to that in another video. But yes, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Goodbye.